Hey, hello and welcome to this new tutorial by Filmotion. And as you may have noticed, my cameraman has some shaky hands today. And this is why this tutorial is all about stabilization. Because with a little bit of post-production we get from this look to this look. Let me show you how I did that in After Effects. Woohoo! So here in After Effects let's directly get started. But okay, I know what you're thinking. You think, oh, mm, the camera guy just, just was shaking his hands and once you snapped your fingers, he just tried to hold still. So let's just go back to the beginning of this video and watch the stabilized and unstabilized version. So pretty impressive. Let's get started with this. And this is pretty easy. All we have to do is motion track the background and then invert the track to have a stabilization. Really easy. So how do we do that? At first, let's take our intro and put it on this new composition icon. And I'm just going to trim it a little bit. Hit B for beginning. And let's just track the first few seconds here. N and trim comp to work area. Now we just have those five seconds. If you have that issue sometimes that your composition doesn't start at frame zero, but somewhere around 12.53, this is because this is the time code at the moment when I was recording. So you can just go to composition, composition settings, click on the start time code, hit zero, and there we go. Okay. So now let's track and stabilize this shot. And the best way to do it is with the plugin called Mocha. Mocha AECC is just such a great plugin for tracking and stabilization. It's the number one go-to plugin for tracking and stabilization. So let's just drag it onto our clip and we click the Mocha button. And before you do that, be sure that you are in full resolution to benefit of all the information in your video. But anyways, if you're set to half or even quarter, Mocha will let you know that you can still change it. Really, really nice and handy. So let's click it. In here, let's quickly scrub through this. We want to track an area in the image that is always visible throughout the clip. And I know what you are thinking right now. Oh, that clever guy just added in a tracking marker with a checkerboard to have the perfect situation. So I'll tell you what, I'm not going to use that pattern over there. I'll just quickly draw a mask with this pen tool here. Actually, it's called X spline tool around my computer monitor with that webcam. And I have this bottle with a candle on it. Just to show you what an amazing job Mocha is doing here, because you wouldn't expect it to work pretty good on that part of the image, but actually I'm pretty sure it will do. And another quick tip while we're at it, you could also work on the footage before you open it in Mocha. So you could work on the exposure, on the contrast, maybe denoise it to have the best image for a tracking software. Then apply it and later on use the tracking data back on the original clip. But anyways, let's get this going. What we have to do now is we could either directly click on track forward, but what I always like to do is increase minimum pixels used. And you can just click on that and type in a number or make your circles around the number. And I'll always try to keep it pretty high, like something around 70. You just have to be aware the higher the number, the more accurate the track will be, but the slower the process will be, of course. So let's just click on track forward and you see that the shape is directly following the background. And you could check that by clicking on the grid, which makes it a bit easier to see visually. But what you can also do to check if the stabilization will work later on, you can just click on that hand icon and that will activate the quick stabilize mode. And what this is doing, now it freezes that shape at that position and just moves the image around it. So you can, while you do your track, already see what this is doing. So let me just speed up the last few frames here so that we can go on. Okay, and we are done. And when I'm scrubbing through this, you can see that it has done a pretty good job. Maybe let's also name this like our step layer. 
And there's just one last step that we need to do. And this is we have to define our planar surface. And normally this would be the area where we want to stick something to because that's what you want to do normally with tracking. You track like a sign or something and then replace it with another sign. So this would be the area that we have tracked and where we would add something to. And this four corners also represent the four edges of the corner pin tool later in After Effects. But of course, this is not exactly what we want to have now. So back on the first frame, let's click on this expand planar surface tool. And now the corners of our corner pin are exactly in the edges of the frame, which is exactly what we want. Because later on, we want to have the edges of our frame basically at the edges of our frame. Now we're done here and we have to save it again because everything we will save in here will automatically update in After Effects. So let's just close it here and also save our project here. And now we can go on with the tracking data. At first we have to create it. And here you see that we have the step layer that we just have created. And I just have to click here to enable it. You just have to be aware that you always click that. It doesn't come in by default by now, but I am pretty sure that they will set this as a default in one of the next versions of Mocha. So now just click OK. And as I told you, now we have created the tracking data. So everything would now follow the movement of the background. But we want to have the exact opposite thing. We want to invert the movement. So let's just click on invert and we are done with creating our data. Now we have to define what we want to do. I already told you that we want to use corner pin data, which is the default. And you see the corner pins in the edges of the frame, exactly what we want. And we want to export our data or in this way we want to stabilize the layer intro. And the last thing we have to do is to click apply. And there we have it. Let's just preview what we have done now. You see our clip is pretty stable at the moment. And remember, for this example, I have used the worst area in the image to make this happen. I could also have used that area, maybe even my microphone stand in here or that poster at the top to make this even more accurate. So one thing we can do now is just scale it up by hitting the S button and just scale it up until the black borders disappear. And you can also help that with creating a new adjustment layer and create letter boxes with the crop effect. We go to 10% cropping and this will crop all borders in by 10% and I'm just disabling left and right. This is what we are left with. So just as a quick recap, whenever you have footage that is a little bit shaky, just import it into After Effects, open up Mocha, then define an area that is visible throughout the whole shot and make a spline around it, track it all the way through and in After Effects apply the tracking data but before you do that hit that nice invert button. So this is already the end of this tutorial and I really hope that you learned something today and if you did just let me know about it in the comments or is there anything I was missing let me know too and as I told you before always feel free to subscribe to my channel and now I wish you a lot of fun stabilizing your shots.